My name is Devin Michaels. This is my girlfriend, Amy. Pleasure, I'm sure. I see. You're a Mets fan. You're referring to my hat? Yeah, I'm from the Bronx. Never liked rooting for the Yankees. Always been partial toward the underdog, if you ask me. <laughs> I can respect that. Hmm? Alright. <laughs> Let's get to business. Can I get your name for the record? Just call me John. Is that your real name? I'd prefer not to answer that. Okay, well, could you tell me why you're here, John? I found your blog, your YouTube channel. I know what kind of things you've been digging into, looking into. You've been asking a lot of questions, doing a lot of digging. I feel obligated to inform you just what it is you're digging into. Alright, let's start from the beginning. What agency were you employed by? I can't answer that specifically. I worked for an intelligence aggregate. Interested in a very specific type of information. What kind of information would that be? <sighs> we call it a chain events. Late phenomena which cannot be explained. All of it. Grizzly murders, kidnappings, or things that would keep you up at night. These chain events were generally dismissed as urban legends by local authorities. Hell, even most federal authorities thought it was all bullshit. But we weren't them. We didn't have the luxury of dismissing anything. Rule 101 for intelligence gathering. Dig. No matter what you dig. And that's what we focused on. Sleep deprived Russian prisoners. Demon dogs. Cursed items. You name it. We looked into all of it. We were ordered to investigate these events. We were very rarely given permission to interact directly in these incidents. Our standing orders were simply to observe. Observe what? What do you think? <sighs> Look, I came here to help you out, kid. You're delving into some very dark shit, and I think you need to understand what it is you're dealing with. Who I worked for, and what my orders were, irrelevant to you. So let's cut to the chase. How long has it been stalking you? What? Tall, wears a suit, no face. How did you know? Oh, please don't insult me. I can see it in your face, and your girlfriend's. You haven't slept in weeks. You've lost a lot of weight. Have the nightmares started yet? He's been after us for about a month now. I think he started stalking Amy first, though. <laughs> so what do you know about the Grossman? What is he? We have files dating back to the Neolithic era on this son of a bitch. And we don't even have the foggiest idea what the hell he is. What does he want? We don't know what he wants either. But judging by his behavior, he is hostile towards us. Can he be stopped? <laughs> back in 82, we had a corner. In a small town in Jersey, two teams of men went in to bring it in. Dead or alive. These men were elite. SEALs, special forces, you know the works. Two teams, 40 men total. Not one came back alive. I was in the command vehicle, an armored car. The thing tore off the doors like it was nothing, and dragged my partner screaming into the woods. Jesus Christ. What can we do then? Is it just going to kill us? No matter what we do? If it wants, but it generally prefers to torment its victims. Play with them. Everywhere I went, it followed. For twelve fucking years that thing stalked me. It destroyed my marriage, my career, everything. <sighs> then it went after my daughter. Police suspected a kidnapping. It was a kidnapping, all right. Then it left me alone. So what, you're telling us there's no way to stop it? Now you're catching on. The funny thing is, when it stopped stalking me, all I wanted was it to come back. Just so I could rip its fucking guts out. Well, thank you for your time, but uh, I don't know if you have anything useful left to- Did I say I was finished? 
Truth is, I don't give a shit about you or your girlfriend. I tried to find that son of a bitch, but never did. But then I had an idea. Why not find its next target? It's only a matter of time before you know. It shows its face. Ch face. Jesus, I cracked myself up. Look, I don't want any trouble. Sorry, but I've waited long enough for this. Come on, kitties. It's a lovely night for a stroll in the woods. Fucking years. I know you're fucking out there. Come out, finish what you started. You've got three seconds to show yourself. Then I finish it for you. One. <laughs> two. It's over! You got nobody to fuck with except me. Show yourself! Fucking show yourself, you son of a bitch! You killed my daughter? My partner? You dragged my life into the fucking gutter and for what? Huh? What? You fucking coward? You shadowy freak? Get out here and finish it. FINISH IT! Oh Christ. Oh God, what if, what if I... Earlier this afternoon, two hikers discovered the bodies of two local youths, Devin Michaels and Amy Sunderland. The cause of death was determined to be a gunshot wound from a handgun. A car was discovered half a mile away from the scene of the crime on a dirt road and was reported to belong to the suspected culprit, former FBI employee, Lawrence Bennett. Local authorities launched a forest-wide manhunt, but were unable to find any clues except for a New York Mets baseball game. 